Junkers GU-87 Stuka was a German dive bomber and ground attack aircraft. Stukas were critical to the rapid conquest of Europe and the Soviet Union in the first years of the Second World War. Accurate and very effective against ground targets, the Stuka was like many other dive bombers of the period vulnerable to enemy fighter aircraft. With the G variant, the aging airframe of the GU-87 found a new life as an anti-tank aircraft. This was the final operational version of the Stuka and was deployed only on the Eastern Front. The reverse in German military fortunes after 1943 and the appearance of huge numbers of well-armored Soviet tanks caused the Junkers to adapt the existing design to combat this new threat. Hans Ulrich Rudel, a Stuka ace, had suggested using two 37mm flak guns, each one in a self-contained underwing gun pod, after achieving success against Soviet tanks with a 20mm cannon. The two 37mm cannons were loaded with armor-piercing ammunition. With these weapons, the Cannonfogel or Cannonbird, as it was nicknamed, proved very successful in the hands of Stuka aces such as Rudel, but only a handful of GU-87G aircrafts were committed in the Battle of Kursk. On the 5th of July, Rudel attacked a column of 12 Soviet T-34 tanks. He aimed for the lightly armored rear area which housed the engine and fuel and single-handedly destroyed all of them. Although the GU-87G was extremely effective in the hands of an experienced pilot, it was unstable and difficult to handle. Only four squadrons were equipped with this version, which were the so-called Panzerstaffeln or tank squadrons in the Stuka wings. They served in the Eastern Front until the end of the war. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.